Hey y'all, Fit My Corp. Uh, we are on day 13 of our beginner yoga series, almost halfway there. Um, everything is going pretty smoothly, uh, learned a lot, <laughs> blah blah blah. Um, it's great to, to talk to you guys, to come at you again, and we're going to go ahead and just get started with this practice today. Hopefully your yoga journey is coming to a good place and you're, you're finding a, a new habit. Um, we will start to see and recognize poses. It'll start to make a little more sense. Uh, I've got little clips that I'm going to start doing for you guys, really breaking down each pose uh, to start to learn how to really enhance your practice. All right, guys. So we are going to come all the way into a table. Actually, let's go child pose. Let's start this morning in child pose. So come all the way back. <coughs> Excuse me. Toes together. Knees out wide. And slowly drop the forward. Starting to connect with your breath. Checking in with that Ujjayi breath at the back of the throat. Walking the fingertips a little further away. Starting to find a little more space, kind of right up underneath the armpit, shoulder area. When you're ready, sweep the hands to the left. Take it back to center. Take it up into the fingertips. Still from your child's pose, just again lifting a little more space underneath the arms. Roll the shoulders back. And when you're ready, slowly walk the hands back and roll into your table. Bring the knees right below the hips, hands directly below the shoulders. Practicing that space through the hands while we press the palm all the way into the earth, spread the fingertips wide, pressing down through, kind of pulling in with the thumb and pinky, rotating into the pointer finger. When you're ready, find your cat cow. Are you looking up? Rounding, tucking the chin. Your own pace with your own breath. Walking the hands forward, sinking into that happy puppy. Hips are right above the knees, helping the heart back to the earth. 
taking a little rock side to side. So we're going to take it and look underneath the right arm. And sweep it and look underneath the left arm. And just slide back and forth. Coming back to center, sweeping the hands once more to the left, taking the hips over to the right. Take your gaze underneath the left arm, digging into the right lat. Sweep it across the body, hands to the right, hips to the left, and taking your gaze under the right arm this time. Bring it back to center. Walk the hands back to table. Turn the palms around. Take a little bit of the weight out of the hands here. Curl the toes under. And slowly start to sit back. Opening the forearms and the bottom of your feet. Slowly releasing from there. Flip those hands over. We've talked about this before, but knuckles together. Top to the hands to the earth. Bend the elbows. Take a little breath and inhale up. I'm pressing down into the earth and I'm pressing into my hands. Stretching the front side of the arm. If we did our arms and abs workout, uh, you may be a little sore. And slowly release. Holding those dumbbells a lot of times puts a little extra stress here in the forearms that we really don't work out very often. Release, maybe circle the wrists, maybe shake the hands. We're going to go ahead and go all the way into our down dog. So if you feel like you need any last little maneuvers or wiggles before we do, take it now. But take a breath when you're ready. Check in. Press the palms, spread the fingers, curl the toes. Slowly tuck the chin and lift the hips. Walking out your dog, maybe dropping one heel, dropping the other. Taking your time here, taking a few breaths, maybe taking it wider. Narrower. Just kind of shake it through. Take the gaze forward towards the thumb. Step out for a walk. Feet to hips. Find your forward fold. Slight bend in the knee. Chin tucks into the chest. Inhale, flat back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Remember to find support underneath the hands. Exhale, forward. If we feel safe on the low back, we're going to take hand and elbow and take a little rock side to side. If we need to, we can kind of support with the hands one way and the other way. Release the hands to the earth. Again, once more, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees and roll it up. Roll the shoulders back. Stand up tall. Check in. Press the feet to the earth. Pull the quads, pull the belly, squeeze the glutes. But relax those shoulders. Maybe close the eyes. But simply breathe. Taking a little shake side to side. 
You may feel little pops in the back. Shouldn't feel any pain or major crunching, but just a little adjustment as you start to find some space, a little blood flow. Inhale, reach. Maybe take a little back bend, squeeze the belly, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, fold. Lots of maybes in my class. Listen to your body. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Press the hands into the earth, step up or walk, back to plank. Hold your plank. Strong all through the core. The shoulders squeeze around, elbows hug in, knees or toes. Lower all the way to the earth. Come up into your cobra. Squeeze the elbows together. So you'll notice my cobra is a little bit lower down here, right? I'm not pressed way up here. We're not too up, dog. We don't want that extra pressure on the low back. We want to open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades and the elbows back together. Toes together, knees out wide. Find your child's pose. Bring it back to your table. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, sweep it all the way through. Take it back up. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, sweep it through. One last time. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, sweep. Inhale it all the way back up. And exhale it to table. Take a little breath. Shake it out. Inhale the left arm. Exhale, sweep it through. Inhale. Exhale, sweep. One last time. Inhale. And exhale, sweep. Inhale, reach. Exhale, table. All right, we're going to go into frog. If you are on a hard surface, you may want to turn so that your knees and ankles are on the mat. Um, I really like having my dual thing here. If you're on the carpet, you're fine. You can stay. But take the knees out wide. All right? We're going to focus on the inner thighs. Drop the feet out to the side. All right? Kind of flopped out there like a little frog. Sink down into it. And then elbows can come to the earth. We can lower to a block. We can lower to the chest. And hold and breathe. And slowly bring it back up and pull the feet together. Press back into the palms and we'll curl back to our down dog. That second down dog, already finding some more space, feeling a difference in the body. I'm going to shift forward to plank. Just shift the body weight. All right? Drop to the knees if you need to. And we're going to drop over to a side plank. So we're going to go to our left side. Feel free to stay in the hand or drop to the elbow. As we rotate over, we can drop the knee if we need to. Take that right arm over the right ear. Bring it back through center. Listen to those shoulders. Drop to the knees if you need to on the transition. We're going to do one chaturanga push up here. So lower to the knees if you need to. Lower down. Inhale up. Beautiful. Rotate to the other side. Find your side plank. Drop to the right knee if you need to. 
Inhale the left arm overhead. Bring it back to center. Find your flow. Lower down. Maybe inhale up dog if you're ready. Maybe go back to that cobra. And exhale to child's pose. Bring it through the table. And take it back to down there. Inhale the left leg high, whatever that means to you. Exhale, bring it forward between the hands. We're going to make our way to crescent. <clears throat> Find your balance. Left knee is right over the left ankle. Inhale, reach the arms up. Good. The left hand is going to go to the left hip. Reach the right arm over. Bring it back to center. Feel free to drop to this right knee if we need to. Take the right hand to the right hip and kind of behind and reach it back. So supporting the low back, or you can slide that hand anywhere down further if you like. I'm going to bring it back to center. And step the right foot forward to meet the left. I'm going to work on a little bit of balance here. So feel free to have a chair close by, find a wall, whatever you need. Press the left foot into the earth. We're going to simply start by sliding the right leg forward. Okay? Hands out to the side are going to give you a little more um, support. Right? Hands at heart center or overhead, a little more challenging. Anywhere from here, we can start by lifting the toe. We can maybe pull the knee up into the chest. We can maybe start to add a little twist. And depending on where you're at, this is beginner yoga. So, you know, take it or leave it. You can take a strap around the foot or you can reach for the foot. Beautiful release. Take a little breath. We're going to send it right out to the side. Same thing. Just standing here with the toe just barely tapped into the ground, engaging this whole left side is a balanced challenge. From there, maybe lifting the toe, maybe pulling into the knee. And again, not judging or assuming anywhere that you are at balance and flexibility. You can hold that foot. You can even lift that foot. All right? So, take your pick. Beautiful. One more breath. And let it go. Come out of it before you fall out of it. Injuries happen when we try and push past the ego. The good news is no one's looking at you, right? You're not in a classroom full of people where everyone's staring and judging you. You're in your own space with your own body. So, don't judge yourself. Don't hold yourself to too high of a standard. I expect you know, work from yourself, but love yourself, okay? We're going to slide it around to the back, the last one here. Again, toe can be down, toe can be up. We can search for that foot. If we have that strap, lock that strap around the foot. Makes that arm a little longer. Feel free to stay here. In this variation, we squeeze the glute to open that hip flexor a little more. Or if we want to take our dancer further, the best way is to fold into whatever you're going to hold on to for your balance if you need that. Right? So inhale the left arm, find your space there, and exhale, hold it forward. Come out of it before you fall out of it. Right? Maybe one more breath, hop back to it, and let it go. Some days it just doesn't work. Right? So what you assume that your body can do, or maybe what you did yesterday, doesn't necessarily mean you can do that today. Our balance changes throughout the day. Sinuses can affect our balance. Stress can affect our balance. Breath can affect our balance. Everything affects our balance. Right? So 
Give yourself a little grace. All right, if we left the top of our mat, let's go back to the top of our mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Hands to the earth, step up or walk back to plank. Find your flow. Lower down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, bring it forward between the hands. Bringing it all the way into our crescent. Pull it up. Again, remember we can drop to the left knee at any time if we need to. Inhale, reach. And we take a little back. And but we're going to take that right hand to the right hip. Inhale the left arm and fold. Back to center. Left hand goes behind the hip, supports the low back, or maybe slides down further, and we fold back. Take it back to center. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. And we'll go right into our balance. Press the right foot into the earth. Slide the left leg forward, toe, lift, knee, twist, any variation you'd like to try. Beautiful. Key focal points in our balance. Squeeze belly, squeeze the glutes, relax the shoulders, find your focal point. Press that whole right foot into the earth. Mm -hmm. Slide the leg out to the side. Maybe lift the toe, the knee. You can possibly play with reaching a strap or your hand, your foot. Both sides of the body are very different. Keep that in mind. Take a breath. Shake it out. And we'll move. To that dancer, <coughs> press the right foot into the ear, reach around, find the left foot. Step one, all right? Find your, your base here, find your strength here, find your breath here. Squeeze the glute, release the hip flexor. If we want to take it further, inhale the right arm, and anywhere from there, folding. Pressing the foot into the hand. Slowly let it go. Shake it out. Beautiful. Find the center of your mat. Take the feet out wide. Turn the toes slightly out. Inhale, reach. And exhale, we're going to fold all the way down. So a slight bend in the knees. Hips go back. And we fold down. Support yourself on your thighs, chins, a block. Turn the toes straight and then cut, rotate the heels out and sink a little deeper. Mommy, I'm going to go for a walk. Why? Yeah. Mommy's got to finish your video. Come sit down, please. We'll go for a walk after. Say hi. Inhale, flat back. Stretch with me. Take the hands over to the left. And switch the hands over towards the right.
Bring it back to center. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Roll it up. We're going to sink back down into that. We're going to take hands to the inner thighs. Sink down into it. Turn the left shoulder towards the right. Turn the right shoulder towards the left. Bring it back to center and roll it up. Roll the shoulders back. Take a little breath. Oh. Say hi. Life is all about balance. Balancing your eating, balancing your work, balancing your family. Oh, I need to do something crazy. Like fishing. Right? Shake it off. Take a little breath. Find the top of your mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Hands to the earth. Step up or walk back to plank. Find one last flow. Lower down. Inhale, up. Uh, exhale the child's pose. Uh, Do you not hide the candies? Because I can't really see the candies. Walk the hands back to meet the body. Bring the feet around. I know you can't see the candy when I hide the candy. I hide the candy because I don't want you to see it. Yeah. Come sit down and do yoga and be quiet or go play. Still. Still. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Take the soles of the feet together. Sit up nice and tall. And exhale, fold the pole. Chin into the chest and round through the back. Slowly release. I can't see the candy though. <laughs> can, I, can you not hide the candy? Okay, I won't hide the candy anymore. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and make our way into Shavasana, coming all the way around. Roll down the other on top of the moment. Release the arms by your side. Shake the feet. Maybe shake the head. Take a nice deep breath. And let it all go. Yeah. 
back and forth. Feeling free to stay here as long as you like. Otherwise, taking a nice deep breath. Inhaling. Exhaling. Slowly bringing yourself to seated one last time. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. May peace be with you in all you do. Namaste. Thanks, y'all. Have a great one.